The wings and legs of an insect are attached. At one of the oldest schools for the blind in the U.S., nearly 300 students are learning to see the world in a whole new way. Each one has their own iPad. Even though almost all of them are visually impaired, and some like Jessica Karim have no vision at all. Technology is changing all around us. And it's kind of great to be a part of that. She's an 11th grader at the New York Institute for Special Education in the Bronx. And you have here in the 30s and 40s. Where Dr. Bernadette Kappen really showed us how students have traded writers. in these old clunky braille writers for tablets that can do much more. It's an opportunity for them to be increasingly more literate and to have material at the same time as their sighted peers. You can have screen enlargement. You can have the voiceover for the totally blind. Jessica navigates hers with ease 2017. using a Bluetooth enabled Braille writer. Yeah. Probably the best thing as teenagers go is you get to do your homework on the bus. Tenth grader Kevin Figueroa is legally blind in one eye and can only see shadows and light with the other. But his lifelong dream is to make movies and with his tablet his dream is quickly coming into focus. I love it. I try and get every opportunity I can to go outside and like shoot something. The school is also using audio enabled iPads to help teach reading comprehension to younger students. And researchers from Google just spent three days on the Bronx campus studying how to make their products more accessible to the visually impaired and others with special needs. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.